The first thing to realize when you block in a drawing or drawing the outlines for your objects is that you should use the thumbnail sketch that you created. The thumbnail should be a pretty close representation of what will be on the larger paper. Here you can see the large drawing next to the thumbnail sketches and it's very close to being the same as the original sketch. Notice that the larger drawing is hard to see because it was drawn lightly. This is always how you should start your drawing so you can erase any mistakes that you might make. When you are blocking in the thumbnail, you should be looking at the image you are trying to draw. Often this is a live object in class, but you can also use a photograph that is printed out or even your cell phone as it will give you a reference for what you are trying to accomplish. Printing a photo will make it easier to draw. Some people may be able to block in their shapes quickly with no guide as they have more than likely drawn before and can measure intuitively. That's great, but if you are new to drawing, you may want to break the sketch and the larger paper into four smaller squares to make it easier to draw. I normally refer to this division like it's a math graph as it makes people understand that they are measuring as they do this. To divide your paper, take a ruler and measure across the sketchbook. Here it is nine inches. Divide that in half and make a small mark vertically where the halved number is. Then slide the ruler up the sketchbook and make another mark at the same halfway point. Once you have those two lines, you can use the ruler to create a straight vertical line. Make sure to keep the ruler perpendicular to the paper as you do this by keeping the whole numbers lined up across the edge of the paper. Do the same thing horizontally on the paper. You should also make these divisions on the printed photo. Once the lines are drawn on both the sketch and the larger paper, you can start drawing the shapes you see in the thumbnail onto the larger paper. Make sure you are still looking at the object in the photo or the live object to ensure that you draw the shapes correctly as you were sketching quickly with the thumbnail and may have made mistakes. If these squares are not small enough to make you accurate, you can divide the squares in half again. What you are trying to do is compare the shapes you are drawing from the thumbnail with where they are on the sketchbook page. Hopefully you notice that you are starting to make a grid if you do that. This is another presentation if you want to make your drawing even more accurate. As you continue to draw, continue comparing the shapes you are drawing with their location in the thumbnail or printed picture until you have drawn all the shapes. When you are done, you need to erase the grid lines that you drew before you start adding color or value so the grid lines don't show in the finished drawing. It shows good craftsmanship to do this. Remember, craftsmanship is the skill in which you are making your drawing. The grid lines would distract from the objects, so you need to erase them. You can also block in the sketch a little easier by tracing the image into your sketchbook. You will have to print the image to do that. Once the image is printed, you need to scribble with an ebony pencil or graphite stick on the entire back side of the image. Doing this will make the photo into a carbon paper, so the image will transfer onto the larger paper. You can either hold it directly onto your sketchbook to trace it, or you can tape it to a window. You will obviously have to remove the sketchbook page from the book. Make sure you don't lose the drawing by keeping it in a folder. Once all the objects are traced, you can remove the photograph from the page you are drawing on for the assignment. You can then start adding color or value to add contrast so you can see each object in your image. There will be another video to show how to do that.